Liquefied natural gas, or LNG, is simply natural gas in its liquid form. LNG is chemically similar to what we produce at our synthetic natural gas plant in Kapole and sent to our customers located on our Honolulu Pipeline utility system. LNG is created by simply cooling natural gas down to negative 260 degrees Fahrenheit. The advantage is that LNG takes up less space than natural gas. In fact, 600 cubic feet of natural gas, when cooled to a liquid, equals only one cubic foot of LNG. That's the equivalent of shrinking a beach ball down to the size of a ping pong ball. This allows us to transport natural gas to Hawaii in the most safe and economic manner possible. In order for natural gas to reach its liquid form, it must be super cooled to negative 260 degrees Fahrenheit. This means that LNG is very cold. When we immerse this rose into LNG, it may look the same, but it has been made extremely brittle due to the cold liquid. This super cool temperature does mean that LNG can cause freeze burns if it comes into contact with your skin. LNG is an odorless, colorless, non-toxic, non-corrosive liquid. It is also more environmentally friendly than many other liquids in the unlikely event of a spill. Since LNG is non-corrosive, if spilled, it will quickly dissipate without corroding the surface. If spilt on the ground, LNG would dissipate quickly without leaving any residue. However, the ground would be made colder due to the LNG's cryogenic properties. If spilt on water, LNG would not be absorbed into the water nor will LNG pollute it. Instead, it will sit on top of the water until it dissipates. Since natural gas is lighter than air, it would rise above the surface until there is nothing left. This means an LNG spill would not require an environmental cleanup, but it will cool the water down. Natural gas also burns cleaner than other fossil fuels. When we hold this flask to a natural gas flame, the glass is still perfectly clear. That's because the primary products of a natural gas flame are heat, carbon dioxide, and water. In contrast, we'll put the same flask to a regular household candle made from paraffin wax, a derivative of oil. Within seconds of putting the flask to the flame, we can already see soot build up on the glass. It's important to remember that LNG will dissipate quickly if spilled. On the other hand, if oil were spilled, it would be there until it was cleaned up. Other fuels, like gasoline, would be flammable for a much longer period of time. LNG also has a high ignition temperature of over 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, the highest ignition temperature among the common fuels used in Hawaii today. This makes LNG more difficult to ignite than other fuels we see traveling on the roads every day. To demonstrate this high ignition temperature, we can put a lit cigarette into a flammable cloud of natural gas and extinguish it directly into the LNG. This could not be done with a common fuel like gasoline due to its low ignition temperature. Natural gas also burns with a lazy flame, meaning it will burn more like a candle than a blaze. It's important to understand that LNG itself will not burn. Only natural gas vapors will burn, and only with an ignition source over 1,163 degrees Fahrenheit. Natural gas also needs to have a concentration of 5 to 15 percent in air or oxygen to burn. Any concentration below 5 percent is too lean to burn, and anything above 15% is too rich to burn. Within its storage tanks, LNG is maintained in its liquid form with vapor and no air. According to the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, LNG vapor is not explosive 
in an unconfined environment, and LNG, the liquid itself, is not flammable or explosive. All of us at Hawaii Gas believe that LNG is a key part of our state's clean energy future. Combined with renewable natural gas, we believe LNG is a clean, safe, and affordable fuel source that can lower our energy costs now while we continue making strides toward our clean energy goals.